Political signs can fill you with pride or anger, depending on your level of passion. And you may have thought about putting them in your own front yard, but there are some things to consider. Here with the do's and don'ts of how to stake your political views, our political reporter, Will Keneally. Will? That's right. So, you know, we all have our own opinions and people may disagree on their political stances. But as First Amendment expert Howard Schwaber says, nothing is really more American than that. In Walworth County, we have seven, eight, nine different messages. It's an uphill fight for the Democratic Party. It's a Republican county, but also very rural, which means plenty of land and space for those messages. They are put out um, with owner's permission on, you know, good, good locations, and then they're rotated every few weeks. So it's like a little mini uh, billboard. We caught up with them in Elkhorn this week to talk about their yard signs. We asked the state Republican Party too, but they didn't have anyone available for us. In Walworth County, Democrats say it's about choosing their words carefully to find common ground. Instead of concentrating strictly on the candidate, we are looking at values and how that ties into issues and how that ties into um, the candidates and why they should vote. This is absolutely the core of why there is free speech in the first place. That's UW-Madison's Howard Schwaber. So you can do that in many different ways. March in a parade, sign a petition, or put in yard signs. People usually use yard signs for political expression, and political speech is, is what's sometimes called core speech. So if there is any kind of speech that's going to be protected, it will be political speech. But there are some limitations. Don't block traffic. Uh, don't be so loud that we can hear you five miles away, right? Don't light things on fire, anything, um, uh, even as part of a political protest. And in Madison, there are similar rules for what you can and can't do with yard signs. We regulate the method and not the message. And what that means is uh, size, height, placement, method of illumination. Matt Tucker heads the Building Inspection Division for the city, which checks to make sure that the yard signs are placed correctly. Placement that is unsafe, I think, is probably the most important thing. Um, Placement that may block the vision of pedestrians or um, or vehicles at intersections, around corners. That generally means keeping the signs on your property, 10 feet off of the street. There's also a season. If you have a bunch of signs, the city asks that they be taken down right after the election. You can generally keep one non-commercial sign up the rest of the year. But what about content? What if a sign contains swear words, for example? That's something the government is allowed to regulate in order to prevent children from being exposed to it. Schwaber says the key is to not be obtrusive. And the analogy is a nuisance law. Uh, you can use your property. It's called quiet enjoyment. You can enjoy your property however you like, but not if it interferes with other people's ability to enjoy their property. Ultimately, there's latitude to largely put up whatever signs of support or opposition you want, whether you're a red dot in a blue sea or vice versa. So the billboards um, are important. These are important because people realize this is grassroots, this is homemade stuff, this is local stuff. So the Walworth County Dems there have been working on how to hone a concise message for a rural audi audience for a couple years now. They say they hope that they can serve as a model for other rural county parties.